loads of stuff here. That's what I've got this week. This is a project to work on. It's from eBay. Can you tell? Stupid links down below for most of these items. If I can, anyway. Make sure we check those out. If you're interested buying anything or find out more information. This looks like a LCD display. It is. So this would be a 4x20 LCD display. I picked up a couple of these because I've got a project I need to build which uses one of these. And, uh, well, now I've got a couple because I I thought I had some. I actually thought I had one of these displays or a couple of these displays on around. Don't seem to have them. I still can't find them anymore. So I do have them. So I bought some more. But yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes. Make sure you stick around for that uh, big box later on. See what's in there. Oh, there we go. What invoice? There's no invoice there. <laughs> it's a more capacitors. What do you get this time? These are four cent microfarad, 25 volt, and 22 microfarad, 25 volt. Just restocking, nothing exciting. Bit of a box here, let's see what's in this. I'm hoping this is what I think it is. I'm hoping. I don't know. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. Huh. Well, now I'm getting concerned then. Hmm. I'm waiting for a PCB to arrive. It's not arrived. That should have arrived about a month ago. Still not here yet. That's concerning. Anyway, let's see what's in here. There's invoice everywhere. How many more do I need to give me? What's it say? Relays. Signal relay, double pole, double throw, 30 volt DC, one amp. So these are put, these are parts in buying for a project which I want to work on, which I might put a PCB for, but the PCB hasn't arrived. Hmm. It's getting concerning. How's that for small? Nice. Digi key box, if I can get into it. Oh, fuck's sake. So, digi key box, if I can get. Right, oh, digi key box, if I can get into it. Right. What do you have here? Uh, quad latch 16 dip 74LS 279AN. I think these are spares for the HP 3561A, which I'm working on. Uh, SN 7412AN, NC 14094BDRG2G, uh, which are surface mount parts, not dips. So if I need to use one of these, I have to use an adapter. Not a big deal. And DAC 08EQ. These are used quite a bit in that thing. So these are digital to analog converters. Handy to have. I just hope I don't need to use any of these. But you never know. And now we have this box, which I think came from eBay. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Let me down. The magazines. Not even screwed up. If you're going to use bits of paper for painting, which is fine, having a flat like this doesn't do much. You have to screw them up into little balls. More like this. Anyway, never mind. This has arrived unscathed. 
there it is in there like that. So we've got this basically thrown on top doing basically nothing. We've got some flat paper around the sides here doing basically nothing. There's a little bit screwed up on that side. Oh, let's see if it's... This isn't bubble wrap. Let's see how it looks. Check going in the box. No, at least the bottom's all screwed up. So it's fairly well protected. But could have done slightly better. I'm just picky. It's almost F1 proof. Any guesses yet? How about now? Well, there's a close up of the bag. Got to change the voltage over. I should do it right now before I forget. There we go. Now I won't forget. I supplied one of his IC cables, but uh, US cable, no good to me. Anyway, who knows, maybe I'll send something overseas one day and I'll be able to send it with it. Who knows? Side view. So, this is actually a very similar case design to the um, attenuator, which I picked up not long ago. Same kind of styling, I think it's from the same era. Serial numbers on this thing 12. Serial numbers 12. So I think that makes it 1972. Gives you an idea. This thing's older than I am. Ready for the reel? Okay. There's the other side. <laughs> and there's the front. Yeah, it's a 400E AC voltmeter. It even has the feet on it still. It's complete. That's a good start. Nice. So 0 0.001 volts to 300 volts full scale. On is up. I hate on is up. It's just so American. And BNC cancer, which is looking a bit corroded. Well, tarnished. Not really corroded, it's tarnished. I mean, come on, this thing's 40 years old. It's going to be a bit tarnished. <laughs> but uh, this meter looks dirty, like it's had a sticker stuck on it. Or something, I don't know. It's got residue everywhere. FAA engraved on it. So this will be a future project. We'll do a refurb on this and see if it even works. I've got no idea. So I'm not going to power it up now. So if you want to see how this actually turns out, don't forget to click like and subscribe. So if you subscribe and click the bell icon, you get to see the video when I do this thing. Whenever that's going to be. Shouldn't be too far away. It's on my list of projects. I've got a few projects queued up now, so which is great. I've got some test gear to do. So this will be one of the things I end up looking at. So if you're interested in watching more of my videos, hopefully you are, the playlists are popping up just down here, there, which are playlists, so you can watch them. Uh, one, I think that's the YouTube suggested one, this is my mailbag list here. Also got a subscribe link over here if you're not already subscribed, and over here is a Patreon link if you want to help support the channel. Catch you later.